Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome for another edition of the video productions by the Ortelino Company. I'm Dieter, Dieter von Schura. I'm the owner of the Ortelino Company and we sell Japanese prints in weekly online auctions. And we also produce these videos, always somehow connected to Japanese prints or the subjects that are shown on um, Japanese prints. Especially, I am interested also in history subjects. Well, today's video is for beginners in Japanese prints, and I want to explain what are kuchi e. Before I start with my talking and talking and talking and explaining and explaining and explaining, let me first show a few images. First, a real kuchi e. You see, woman with a puppy, very romantic. This is a typical. Kuchi A print. Have some patience, I'm going to explain what it is. Or in the background, you see a few examples. And we have an article on our website, Kuchi A. And well, this is what is shown now on the larger monitor. And I'll show you a, a, a few more examples. You see, this is um, a scene from the 47 Ronin. Historic figures, romantic woman with umbrellas. And also here, two typical kuchi e. So, kuchi e sounds somehow Japanese, yeah. Kuchi is the Japanese word for mouth. And e or e um, is the Japanese word for image. So, what are mouth images? A little bit strange. Doesn't bring us any, any further, actually. Well, kuchi e, in one sentence, were popular fold out prints for novels or they were inserted to magazines, inserted into books with novels uh, or into magazines. And they were popular. Well, roughly between 1895 until 1950. So turn of the century from 19th to 20th century for roughly 20 years. And now my friends, um, we have to go a little bit into the history. During the late 19th century, reading had become a habit also for the common Japanese people. However, most could not read very well. I mean, I'm sure you cannot read one Japanese character and well, that is not funny. And so what did book publishers, um, publishers of magazines do? They added a visual aid to get the story uh, uh, across. And these were these kuchi e prints of the kind that I just showed to you. And what kind of magazines, um, what kind of books um, did get these inserts, these kuchi e um, uh, in inserts? Well, these were basically soap opera uh, novels, nothing else. Um, clients were mainly women and books and magazines were not bought, yeah? they were rented in special bookstores. The common Japanese people at that, ki uh, at that time, they could not afford to buy books. So they were at every corner, you, you had a, a bookstore where you could rent these. Uh, a name, the most important publisher or magazine um, for Kuchi E at, at that time was Bungei Kurabu. When you read catalogs of Japanese Kuchi E prints, you will frequently um, encounter this, this name, Bungei Kurabu. Uh, Kuchi E today uh, are a genre of, of collecting uh, Japanese prints for, for art collectors. So it's of interest, how were they made actually? They are woodblock prints, my friends. Woodblock prints made in the same old manual technique like the old woodblock prints by Hiroshige or by Kuni, Kunisada. Um, and therefore they are valuable and worth collecting. 
and again all made by hand and usually well executed. Why? They had to support the sales of, of, of these, these novels. I want to mention there are also lithograph um, Kuchi, however very small in numbers in the market, you won't see them very often. And lithograph uh, in that case means offset lithograph, that means machine made. So uh, if um, you insist on having an all handmade woodblock print Kuchi, read the description well, my friends. Kuchi, they had to fit um, into a book or a magazine and therefore they were usually folded once in the middle or twice and they had certain size restrictions. So you will find these Kuchie always in typical sizes and the typical sizes for Kuchie first in centimeters and then in inch 22 by 30 centimeters uh, which is uh, corresponds to 8.5 by 11.75 inches or roughly 14 by 20 centimeters which is the equivalent of 5.5 by 8 inches. Let's also talk about the, the artists. Um, you can find on our article uh, quite a long list here of, of, of artists but I don't want to go over these now. In my view, uh, the best is Kyokata Kaburagi, and therefore I want to mention only this one for now. Well, for a long time, um, Kuchi E were not considered by collectors of Japanese prints as worth to be collected at all. That was until oh, let's say 20, 30 years ago. And then uh, one thing happened. Sometimes books can change um, a situation completely. Uh, Helen Merritt and Nanako Yamada, famous authors of books about Japanese prints. They wrote this book and published it, I don't know, 20, 30 years ago woodblock kuchi e prints and that changed it completely and today kuchi e are an accepted um, genre um, market niche for collecting japanese prints and they have one um, advantage they are inexpensive in our auctions kuchi e usually start with a reserve that's the minimum bid you have to place with $50 uh, or $100, they hardly uh, go in price above $150. You can buy them in our weekly online auctions. Our online auctions always uh, end and start immediately with the next one every Sunday at 8 p.m. our local time, which is Central European time, and which is six hours ahead of you is East Coast. We'll be pleased uh, to see you in our auctions and of course I would be pleased to see you for our next video and until then have a good week. Goodbye.